to back to my channel if you are new hello my name is amelia and i do fitness fashion beauty lifestyle videos you may be a new viewer because you may have come from my millie g fitness page hey if you have yeah i'm just doing a full day of eating today and please excuse what i look like because it's just not it's just one of those days i swear it's every time i record a video i'm always just not feeling it in myself so let's just ignore that i've got my coffee here almond milk cappuccino mm. and i just thought i would film yeah a full day of eating i'm actually um working today so i'm working from home hence why i'm sat in this space because i never sit here um, but yeah, I just work here. And yeah, it's going to be one of those, I mean, I don't know what I'm eating today. Don't know what I want for breakfast, but we'll see. Um, I'm not hungry yet. So yeah, I usually have my coffee first. Then I will wait a bit and then have my breakfast. Usually it's porridge, but we'll see. We'll see what we fancy. So without further ado let's just get into this video and i've nearly forgot please if you haven't hit that subscribe button and like this video if you do love these videos i know you guys do anyway i need to get to work <laughs> a lot later than I usually eat it's 11 7 a.m. but I've just been on zooms as you would have seen I also want to say the sourdough that I make everyone every time I mention it everyone's always like what's the recipe and it literally makes me laugh because I can tell you the recipe but I don't think you guys understand how technical it is like you could you literally need white strong flour you need whole wheat flour you need 650 grams of water at 28 degrees celsius precisely shower caps and you also need nine hours or like eight or well, eight to nine hours to make it so yeah it's not just like a bish bash, bash oh yeah and you need your starter you need a starter i think well yeah if you follow me on instagram you would have seen it but anyway i don't know why i'm rambling on about my sourdough you can tell that i'm really passionate about it but honestly, once you make your own sourdough, you will never turn back. Like, store-bought sourdough is no way near. Nope. So yeah, anyway, for my breakfast, um, yeah, I'm going to have my banana and sourdough and some yoghurt. It's not my usual breakfast, actually, but I'm kind of branching out. If you haven't been watching my journey, or journey, um, that's my sourdough, then... You wouldn't know that I am on a weight gain process, so I'm technically a bulk, whatever you want to call it. So I am at the moment having to track because I need to ensure that I'm actually eating enough because what I'm eating and how much I'm eating is a lot. Um, and if I don't track, then I will definitely be nowhere near that amount of calories I need. So yeah. Um, but I'm not going to be telling you what macros i'm on and things like that because it is so personal and i don't want people to think that that's what they need to do um you may need more than what i'm having you may need less than what i'm having like it really really does vary That didn't fill me up. Like, I think I'm gonna have to stick with oats because oats 
they fill a little hole that just don't fill a hole completely devoured that i always feel like breakfast just need to be the biggest meal breakfast i just i can't not have breakfast and also i can't it can't not be a big meal i bloody love breakfast anyway i'm gonna get back to work and i'll see you when i next eat which may be a morning snack but it's a beautiful day today it's really nice i hope it's nice where you are oh my god it's so cold right so i am just on my lunch break and i'm just going to the post office to return some things and also collect some things because amelia has been quite naughty with her spending yeah that's what i'm doing thought i would do day in the life as well as a what i eat in a day oh my god it's absolutely freezing i'm not really that hungry to be honest i don't really know what i'm gonna have um, we'll see when we're home. It's actually hilarious vlogging when I'm out and people are staring. Just gotta own it, right? Just gotta own it. I've got the goods. Can anyone guess where it's from? Just have a square of chocolate. Lint. Orange intense chocolate, if you want to be precise. Sorry I didn't film that because my fridge is in the garage and I just... I just had it and it was there next to me and I just couldn't wait to have it just for me to grab the camera and then have it, do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm gonna have some wraps, I'm gonna have tuna, tuna wraps with tomato and spinach and salad cream because that's always essential with tuna. Yeah, I would make a TikTok wrap but I am really in a rush, I can't wait for that grill thing to heat up so we're just gonna go for cold wraps really unadventurous but it's a day in a life full day of eating so this is what's happening today and it tastes good anyway so i'm not mad <laughs> lunch without something sweet i'm gonna have i think this is my this is my snack area like usually i'll find myself just like putting my hands in one of these cereal boxes to just have a little nibble while i decide what i want that's usually the case either my protein chocolate crispies i'm gonna have some chocolate covered corn in i think they always get spot, so yeah, Sainsbury's dark chocolate, Compton's, and I think also jelly as well, because honestly, I know even though I'm gaining weight and I'm having to get so many calories in, these 10 cal jelly pots, honestly, I just love them, like, they're just so sweet, mm. also I have realised, I'm an actual idiot, that Alpro yoghurt that I had this morning was my last pot, I don't know what I'm gonna have for dessert tonight, but guys, that's not okay. Let's get back to work. Hi guys, a couple of hours later, I'm eating some digestive biscuit things while I make my tea. And I'm also, wanna say, would recommend they're just like wafer marshmallow things and they're literally just been they're just sitting here so i just grabbed one um but yeah i'm just making a tea i was actually eating it and i was like to film this you guys are not gonna believe me right i'm back finish work it's now six o'clock i'm gonna do a lower body workout today is a heavy lower body day and it always gives me like 
a bit of anxiety inside so yeah it, it's got deadlifts in it i always have to go really really heavy um last week was deload week and i didn't do that workout so it's been two weeks since i've done deadlifts and yeah i'm gonna film it just to show you guys a little insight of my workouts but wish me luck i got just a protein shake from my protein i'll um put the link in my description box below also you can use the code amelia for money off i know i keep rinsing that but you guys you need to save your money so my code is what it's there for it's in cookies and cream actually this one's really good i really i really recommend this one so i'm gonna do a quick warm-up on this little treadmill just ignore that Got a treadmill there that's my gem let's do it guys also i hate working out in the evenings i just have to force myself to do it because it's got to be done and i know it will make me feel good people are gonna ask how do you work out after work or some sort of breath <laughs> or how do you um, stay motivated things like that I have got a whole video that I've uploaded about motivation and yeah it really is just that it's what I say in the video and it's all about making it a routine and my camera is flashing red again so I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna have for dinner really quick Really simple, really non fitspo but we're keeping it real. We're gonna have plant pioneers margarita pizza. I haven't um, tried this, but I'm hoping it's gonna be nice. I just want something quick. Oh my God, I look awful. Just want something quick and pizza, great carbs, great fat, just what you need after a workout and it's got good protein in it as well. So I'm gonna bung it in the oven for 11 minutes and Hopefully, while I do that, I'll charge my camera so I can actually talk to you. Because I feel like I've hardly been on my camera. I don't know. But I'm going to go have this now. hours later and i'm gonna leave it here i am gonna have my dessert don't worry don't worry but yeah i had that pizza that i showed um i was gonna do a time lapse me eating it in weather but my whole family were in the kitchen and it's just so awkward filming when other people are around i need to get used to it but yeah i just <laughs> I couldn't do it but yeah that pizza was average it was so average i don't know why but oven pizzas always skimp on the cheese and who buys a pizza and specifically wants less cheese than a normal pizza i'll say it five out of ten anyway before i sign off um i will show you my dessert as well but yeah i just want to talk about my journey so far so obviously i'm with my coach emma so we have worked together for 16 weeks now i'm on my 17th week um and we have very slowly increased my calories from the very start so i was literally on i don't want to be specifics i don't want people to copy exactly what i'm doing but i was on about 1700 at the start 
now I'm on 2,700 plus. So I'm eating 1,000 more, which is chef's kiss. Really good. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really enjoying it. At the start, I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. I had to force myself to eat. I had to force food down me. I was not hungry. I was full all the time, which is so understandable because your body is obviously not going to expect more food than what it's been used to living off so your stomach is going to adjust i promise you that's how it works it does work um what if you increase your calories slowly week by week then you will absolutely be fine you'll be in control it won't all turn into fat overnight at all and if you're resistance training progressive overloading you're you know you're still drinking water you're just you're still doing what you do normally but just eating more food it's going to be fine it's not the end of the world yes you will gain weight because that's the whole point but you need to just come to terms to accept that weight gain and to see it as a positive thing because it absolutely is a positive thing just remember that if you do have those low days i mean we're all human we all do i do as well you need to just remind yourself why you are wanting to gain weight and what your mindset was like when you were at a lower weight, the negatives that you were finding when you were at your lower weight, so whether that is a lower mood or literally you're not healthy um, or you're obviously starving yourself or you're hungry all the time or you just want to have that freedom with food, you need to remind yourself that you're you're in this weight gain journey for a reason and you will stick at it and it just comes with bad days like anything and the body just fluctuates but it's so clever and it knows what it's doing so just trust your body like today i just feel very bloated and that's so fine like that is absolutely fine i'm still gonna have my big bowl of porridge from my dessert and i'm still gonna be kind to myself and go to sleep, have a good, good sleep, wake up feeling as fresh as a daisy again. Then I know I've got, I've got through that day really well and I've stuck, stuck to it, I've stayed strong and that's a positive thing. So you just got to keep doing that. Um, just don't be hard on yourself and anyone who is watching this and they're wanting to start their weight gain but they're too scared. You need, like fear is nothing. You create that fear you need to realise that weight gain is a positive thing and it's not scary and, well, it is scary, but it's a lot less scary than you think and you're not going to die. You're not going to hate your body because I promise you, you will find a new love for your body and it's just an incredible thing. I can't, I can't express it enough. I'm just, it's an amazing, amazing thing. I would never, ever, ever would have expected me to be where I am now today in September when I was still very skinny and not happy in myself and anxious person. Yeah, this wasn't the plan. Like, I'm such a planner. This wasn't a plan. And it's happened. And thank God it has. Thank God it has. So, yeah, if you're watching this, I hope you're watching this maybe with a good meal that you've made yourself and i hope you're watching this with a smile on your face and i hope you're watching this with um, the intention to continue looking after yourself looking after your body whether that's gaining weight losing weight you're looking after your body and you're keeping it healthy and you're keeping it happy so yeah that's my little ramble i've been speaking for seven minutes also that just reminded me my fitbit just beeped to say to move <laughs> absolutely not i really hate those notifications i need to turn them off my life is so free and it's so, I'm so content. If my Fitbit tells me to move and I don't want to move, I'm not going to move. A device doesn't need to tell me how much to eat, what to do, how active I should be. Only I know that, so also take note of that. Anyway, I need to shower, I need to get the snake off, I need to chill, I need to just let myself rest because it's been a very busy busy day but yeah if you do have any questions please put them in the description box below i love to see your questions um my dms are always just so full on instagram and i really really do try to answer every single one but sometimes i just don't i lose track and i really do feel guilty when i don't 
reply so yeah if you have a question pop it in the description box so i'll definitely be able to see because we're a smaller family over here if you did enjoy this video please hit that like button it really really does support me and i know you guys always are looking out to support so please that'd be amazing and also hit that subscribe button because that's also a great thing i just want everyone to be able to come here and use this channel as maybe a safe place or somewhere that they can just chill out watch some of my videos i mean if, if they entertain you that is that's all for me i'm gonna love you and leave you but i will be showing you my dessert after this so bye guys Mwah.